Monster Under My Bed, written by Beth Costanzo, illustrated by Chris Etherton, animated by Satwinder S. Kang. It was time for bed. Paco brushed his teeth and put on his pajamas. Professor Galaxy walked Paco to his bedroom and read him his favorite Adventures of Scuba Jack bedtime story, The Lonely Lobster, and tucked him into bed. Don't forget to say your prayers, Paco, said the professor. Paco nodded. Professor, can you check my closet for monsters? whined Paco. Sure, Paco, I will check your closet for monsters, replied the professor. Okay, there aren't any monsters in here. It's time for bed, Paco, said the professor. The professor left Paco's room and went down the hall to his office. Paco closed his eyes and all of a sudden heard a scratching on his window. Oh no, it's a monster! Professor! The professor walked over to the window and noticed a tree branch was brushing against it. That's not a monster, Paco. It's a branch. Time for bed. You know you get grouchy if you don't get your beauty sleep, sternly replied the professor. Ten minutes passed. Professor, there's a monster in my room, cried Paco. What's the matter now, Paco, said the professor. Look, there's a monster in the corner of the room. Oh, Paco, that is not a monster. It's a bunch of clothes piled on the chair. Go to bed. Ten more minutes passed. The professor was researching at his computer when he heard... Professor, there's a monster in my room. The professor walked in and found Paco holding on tight to his teddy bear. What now, Paco? asked the professor. I saw a monster on my wall. It was creeping closer and closer to me. Just then, a car passed by the window and its lights cast a shadow upon the wall. Paco, that is not a monster. The shadows are being placed on your wall from the headlights of the cars from the street, said the professor. Now go to sleep, Paco angrily replied the professor. Thirty minutes had passed, and the professor was pleasantly amused by the new crystal he had discovered at the beach the day before. Professor! Paco screamed so loud that it frightened the professor, and he fell off his chair. The professor ran to Paco's room. What's the matter, Paco? anxiously asked the professor. There's a monster under my bed, said Paco. Let me look, said the professor. The professor took out his flashlight from his pocket and looked under the bed. Um, Paco, it's not a monster at all, said the professor. What is it? Nervously asked Paco. But I did find something, said the professor. It's Squeak, your hamster, said the professor. Squeak! How did you get out of your cage? said Paco. Paco, it's time for you to go to bed, responded the professor. I won't bother you again, professor, said Paco. Good night, said the professor. Good night, said Paco. Paco finally fell asleep and was no longer afraid of the monsters in his room. The End Subscribe to my YouTube page for more fun videos. Come on, everybody, and follow me. From the beach to the cold or in the sea. It's time for learning. It's time for fun. It's a great adventure for everyone. Come on, everybody, and follow me. Jump and swim out to the bottom of the sea. It's time for adventure, fun, and learning. Shark attack! Yay! Hey 
Hey everybody, it's Miss Beth from the Adventures of Scuba Jack. Please comment below and give us a thumbs up if you liked our video with Activity Book. See you soon.